Welcome to Come Learn Forex. In this video, we'll be having a look at timeframes. Please pause the video in order to have a detailed read of the following disclaimer before moving on. In this video, we will first have a broad overview of what timeframes are, we will then have a look at what types of timeframes there are, as well as how to use them. Last but not least, we will go through choosing the best time frame for you to trade. So what is time frame? This is the period visually portrayed by each time-related graphical element on a chart. In this example, we can see that the currently chosen time frame is 1H, where 1 stands for the number of periods and H stands for the time period chosen, which in this case is hour. This means one candlestick will represent an hour of price movement. So let's have a look at what types of time frames there are. First, there's the smallest ones, the scalping time frames. They are usually either the minute time frame or if the user's trading interface allows it, the seconds chart. The smallest scalping chart is the tick chart, where each price movement is recorded to the best of the interface's abilities. Then, there's short-term time frames, which are used to conduct intraday and intraweek short-term analysis. They are divided into hour and minute charts and are mostly used by intraday traders. After that, the midterm time frames are used to conduct midterm market analysis, as well as to potentially identify quarterly trends, targets, levels, and other long-lasting analysis. Last but not least, long-term time frames are used to gain a broad and long-term outlook on the market. Monthly charts comprise of years of data which could easily fit on screen. These charts are most often used by banks, institutions, pensions funds, etc. So let's now have a look at how to use time frames. Every time frame tells a different story. Depending on the selected time frame, each candlestick or bar would visualize a certain amount of data. One minute worth of price fluctuation, 15 minutes worth, an hour, one month, etc. Therefore, to determine what time frame to look at, we first need to define what view of the market we would like to obtain. In case we would like to view the market's price at the immediate basis, we would need to look at smaller, minute time frames. In case we would like to see what has happened over the past week, we would most probably go for the 4-hour time frame. Or in case we would like to incorporate more data in our analysis, thus making it more long term, we would ideally be looking at the bigger time frames, such as the monthly, as they compose of more data in comparison to the intraday time frames. Overall, it does depend on the situation. However, for a full analysis, it would make sense to go down in time frames, gaining the broader aspect of the bigger picture first before tuning down into intraday movements. Now, let's have a detailed look at how to choose the best time frame for you. Depending on what type of analysis you want to do, there are many time frames to choose from. For example, in the immediate term, scalpers could look at the seconds or minute charts, which comprise of ticks, seconds, or the smallest time frame that's commonly accessible, the one minute time frame. In case you would want to do some short term intraday trading, your best bet will be looking at the minutes and hours time frames. This means the 5 to 15 or 30 minute time frames or alternatively the 1 or 4 hour time frames. Mid-term swing traders on the other hand would like to either look at their time frame in hours or days or at most in weeks. This comprises of the 4 hour time frame, the 1 day time frame and the 1 week time frames respectively. Long term position traders will be looking at their chart in weeks or months of data comprised in years worth of data within just 12 to over 50 candles. They will be looking at either the weekly or the monthly time frame, where each candlestick is a week or a month's worth of price data. If you have enjoyed this forex related content, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Also comment below on what you would like to see next.